So this was our first time on Royal Caribbean's Rhapsody of the Seas. The ship's absolutely awesome, so follow us around to see what the ship's really like. Hey everyone, I'm Jacob. And I'm Diamond. We're all about experiencing life. We make videos every Wednesday and Friday where we try something new to help us experience life to its fullest potential. So starting us out on this tour of Rhapsody of the Seas, we are currently on deck 11. The highest deck is deck 12 right here, which is Azumi, which is a sushi restaurant that isn't included, but you can always pay and go there and have some sushi. Then on deck 11, the only thing is the Viking Crown Lounge, which is the nightclub of the ship. Here on deck 10 is the area for all the kids and the teens. Over here is the adventure ocean. You can pick up the little compass where it tells you what's going on. This is more for older kids, like, you know, five to 16. And then over here, over here is for the royal babies and tots. So this is the nursery for little, little babies and toddlers. And then over here is the video arcade. And this is open 24 hours. Here is the teenager area, ages 12 to 17. Uh, they have games. That's pretty fun. I wish that we could use those. Right outside where we just came from, we are at the front of the ship. This is deck 10 on the outside. They have shuffle boards, they have a whole bunch of seating, and you can walk all the way across to the other side. And there's just a ton more little areas where you can sit out and relax. Also in 10, they do have a running section on the right and a walking section on the left, and that way you can kind of walk and run all the way around the ship. At the back of the ship on deck 10, there's also the rock climbing wall. Right by the rock climbing wall, you can also go to the gym. You can come in from the inside or you can come in from the outside this way. Right down the stairs from the gym is Deck 9, where you get to the Vitality Spa and Fitness Center. This area has all sorts of different spa treatments you can do and just a really great place to relax. Right outside the spa, you enter the solarium. This area has a place that has drinks all the time, and then also at night, an area that has the late night snacks and snacks throughout the day. The solarium is a really nice place to relax because it's covered, so the temperature kind of stays the same all the time no matter what the weather is like outside. So on deck 9, right outside the solarium, they do have ping pong tables. This is the back of the ship, we have ping pong table on this side and also on the other side. And then right behind this is where you can go and check out your towels for usage outside the ship. Make sure that you bring them back though because they scan your sea path and it's $25 if you don't return a towel. So on deck 9 outside there is one pool and two hot tubs. There's also a really nice bar right outside the pool. On each side on deck nine, there's an ice cream station and the water and tea station. Right through the doors past the ice cream station, we enter the Windjammer Buffet. The first section when you enter is the coffee and tea station. This station stays open all the time. The Windjammer is open every single day, and they always serve three meals. They have a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. We personally love coming to the buffet here because it's constantly changing, and there's always new foods that you can try. This is our fourth cruise with a Royal Caribbean ship, and the Windjammer on every single ship that we've been on has been exactly the same, and the food has been up to the same exact standards on every ship. And although the foods are always changing every single day, they do have some things that are standard every day, like they have fruit all the time, they always have salads, and they have this section that consists more of like American foods. On both decks 7 and 8, it's just eight rooms, so there's nothing on here. 
But we are here on deck six now. We're starting off. This is Broadway Melodies. This is where they do all of the shows, and this is actually on floor six and floor five. And then right around from here is where we start in the Centrum shops, which is all just the onboard shopping. There is like a little photography section too, right behind where the shops are on deck six. So here you can buy photography stuff. We got memory cards, we got Polaroid cameras, and then GoPros. There's a photography gallery right over there. And then over here, you can look at your pictures. You just put in your stateroom number and all your pictures will come up. This is a library on the ship. It's really not very big compared to most ships' libraries. Well, they have books in English and then they have books that are in other foreign languages. Not that many books. <laughs> So the right when you exit the Centrum shops on the other side of the pictures, they do have an art gallery which you're able to purchase some of this art. And then also there is a little latte station and Ben and Jerry's which aren't included but also an option that you can have for food. So here are the prices of the cafe. <laughs> that connect all the way through, which is floors nine, floors six, floors five. They all just have kind of open seating everywhere, which is a ton of areas where you can either sit inside or on the decks that have outside parts, you can also sit outside. Lots and lots of seating. So we are here at the scooter bar now. If you come back this way, there's also Giovanni's table, which is a restaurant down here to the right. But this is the area where you can get drinks. They also do little games and things like that here as well. We are movie, maybe information help you major in the team. Seven but if you want to play. Mama always said life was like a box of chocolate. Behind me in the Sooner Bar, there is a piano and they do live piano music most of the nights too. Right behind that is Shall We Dance. It's just another part of the ship where they do kind of some different dance lessons. They also have different games and things like just activities throughout the ship located here as well. There's an extra charge for this restaurant, but Chop's Grill is also here on deck six, right across from the schooner bar. It's just a place where they serve steaks that you can kind of pay a little bit more and have a nice dining experience. So they have the main dining areas, which is included in your ticket price on decks four and five. And on deck five here, right behind me, there is the excursions desk and the guest services desk. Also on deck five is the casino. You can lose lots of money here or win it. <laughs> No craps table though on this ship. I heard somebody say that. <laughs> okay, so random fact if you go to the middle of the casino right by this game, I don't know if you can hear it here, but you talk, your voice like echoes everywhere. And then when you walk right out, it just goes back to normal. So, like we said earlier, right here on deck five is the bottom part of the Broadway's melody, so you can be on the bottom floor or the top floor whenever you watch the shows. So for deck four, they have staterooms on both sides, but then at midship, they have the, the centrium, which is this area right here, where they do all sorts of live music. They do a lot of the game shows here. They have a bar. This is probably one of the most popular areas for things going on in the ship all the time. I'm gonna say 
your favorite pizza stop in. Also located on deck four is the next cruise station. This is just an area where you can get a discount if you book a next cruise while you're still on the ship. Outside of each floor of the main dining room, there is the menu that you can check for every night. And then over in the middle, kind of where the stairs are, they have this thing where you can see what's going on. So the cruise compass is what's going on today. Whoa. You can even tell it where to go and it'll tell you where you are and how yeah, to get there. Which is really helpful. We've had to use this a lot of times. Also, if you get lost on the ship, there is a little map on every floor by the elevator that tells you everything and that's on the ship. So we're gonna end it. So deck three and two are both just staterooms. Deck one is where you can exit the ship. In the middle, that's where the gangway is. There's also the medical facility down there. But that's really all that there is left. So I hope you guys enjoy this tour and have a little bit better idea of where everything is on the ship. So we just finished the tour of the ship. And now I'm going to really quickly just go over our thoughts. This is the last day on the ship. So we've been here for a week. Our fourth different ship on Royal Caribbean. And we both think this is probably our least favorite ship. It's definitely the smallest out of all of them. So there's not near as many just like different amenities and things like that to do. The food service is absolutely great here. The wind jammer, the dinners, like everything is wonderful. Totally up to like standards with everything else we've done in Royal Caribbean. There's just not as many activities. They do games and things like that, but because the ship is so much smaller, there's not quite as much, I'd say, crowd participation on yeah, the ship. It's harder to find people to participate and since the, there's still about 2,000 guests on the ship and so whenever we went into like the Windjammer um, on a sea day or just like trying to get food or even like the pool area, it was really hard to find a seat because everything's smaller but there's still quite a bit of people and there's not as many different places to eat. But it just depends on if you like a bigger ship or mm -hmm. if you like a smaller ship because I know there's some people who don't want to walk, you know, forever to get to their room, whereas we don't mind that to have all of the other amenities and all of the other things to do. Like there's no flow rider on this one, there's no slide, there's no- Ice skating rink. It's a rock yeah. wall and that's pretty much the only, the only real amenity on the ship besides just the normal- Like trivia. Like bars yeah. and games and things like that. They have all the ships. Even with the trivia, it was hard to find like a seat sometimes. Because the areas are so small yeah. and there is so many people and since there's not that many activities to do, I feel like there's like one activity going on at a time where most ships have multiple activities going on at a time so you have things to choose from. There's pretty much one activity going on all the time except for like the paintings and bingos and things like that. The casino is also really small here if you are like a casino person compared to the other ones we've seen. But like I said, overall, it was still a really great ship. We saw a really great experience here. Definitely, I like the bigger ships personally. It's still a really great ship, still a really fun time. But yeah, that's just our personal preference to each their own. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, it really does help us out. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you never miss when we post a video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.